previously on the white Impreza 2.5 RS build. I picked up the car, did a full detail top to bottom to see what we we're in store for. Found a couple spots that made me sad, but overall I was pretty happy with the overall condition of the car. And now we're going to focus our attention on the interior. When I first got the car, it came with this. The compass pack out of an Outback, I believe is where they're from. And it doesn't work. The guy said he bought the car, he put it in, he doesn't have the harness or anything installed. So we're going to pull it out, see what's going on, and see if we can get it working. Hood is off, broken on the back, broken on the front, but they actually still do sell these at Subaru. A couple screws on each side, this will slide out. Do you like pasta? I like spaghetti, but not in my engine bay. Looks like we have one, two, three, four wires. Let's see if they come out. Just pull one at a time. Then throw all said wires into the garbage can. Since the car did not come with the wiring harness I needed to run the compass pack, I had to find a used compass pack kit and purchase that. So now I have the wiring harness for the thermocoupler that tells the temperature. I have the wiring harness that plugs in to the radio and to the compass pack. And I have an extra compass pack with a brown hood, which will be pretty much useless to me unless I paint it. So I'll keep those for backup. Things have escalated very quickly as they usually do. Um, the radio is out, the console's out, the, um, this is in, um, kind of. I ran some of the wires. I believe this black wire is actually already pre-wired into the speed sensor wire because I traced it down to the harness that you're supposed to wire this blue wire into and it looks like that's the same wire that it's already tapped into. So. I'm, I'm guessing this was already in here at one point and somebody just left it in there. Cool. The other black wire that I could not find where it was coming from in the engine bay, I thought it was a gauge. It was not. It was wrapped under here. Probably like six feet of wire. So I unwrapped it. It was a total rat's nest down there. And it actually ran to a module that is the security system module. Which is interesting because my key fob never worked on this car. I changed the battery, but it never worked. The little light over there by um, the window, eh, I guess it's down there now, it never blinked. So I didn't know what was going on, but I found the module and it was unplugged. Totally just unplugged hanging there. So I plugged it all back in. It started clicking and then I um, plugged it back in, hit the button a few times and this like this here. And we have, you see that? Lock, unlock, amazing. This is the rest of the harness that goes under the hood for the temp sensor. Look at that, it's working. 64 degrees, northeast settings. It looks like they're working. Yep, 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 yep. The center console has been bothering me since I got the car home, so it's coming out. This is for like a 2002 and up WRX, the GD series. It's just been hacked up, you can see right here. It's just hacksawed or dremeled to fit this dash, and it's not right. I mean, it's, it's subtle differences. It has a cup holder here. Um, the shift boot surround is a little different. So I'll pull the console out and show you side by side with the GC center console. And out it comes. Side by side, we have the GC one closest to the camera and the GD chassis furthest away. You can see how that's been completely hacked off to emulate this nice smooth line here. Um, the armrest is different on this one, and this one is really tore up, so it'll have to be replaced. Like I said, this console is not in the best shape, but I just can't stand looking at the wrong console. I'd rather look at, look at the scratched up console than the wrong console in the car. Center console is in, the radio is back together, and 
the compass pack is installed just has to be calibrated little bonus inside the center console look at this little guy cup holder I cannot believe that this thing is still intact after all these years a lot of this build is actually being dictated by parts or lack thereof I have been spending the past few months buying parts from all over the world I have parts that came from Israel Canada Japan uh, across the United States and also the UK so when something shows up you kind of drop what you're working on and it's kind of exciting and you want to do it so this is the radio that I'm gonna put in the car it's a stock OEM cassette player radio and the additional optional CD player I don't know if it works I gotta rip everything apart again plug it in and see if it'll even fire up when you tear stuff apart put it back together and tear it apart again and it gets faster every time it is working if you believe it the volume knob is a little touchy sometimes when you're turning it up it goes down and when you're turning it down it's going up so I might have to clean that up a little bit um, the CD player is actually working as well I can't believe it I think there is a few see that it's playing. Um, lights that might be out there's a few little lights there that I might have to work on but all in all I'm impressed that it's actually still working going through my big box of parts that I've ordered from Subaru I found a few things that I forgot about this is the armrest cover, the little shorty one, which is right here and is absolutely destroyed. Still available from Subaru. However, this hinge right here is not. I think you can get it like beige, but you can't get it in gray. So thankfully this one is still in good shape. We got also a shift knob, which is not the original one, unfortunately. This is just black leather with black stitching, I believe off the GD Impreza. But they don't make the one with the red stitching anymore and everybody thinks they're worth $1,000 because they came on the 22B and the RS and the Type R. So we'll wait on that for now. This is the cluster control surround for, I think, I believe, for that. So since we got everything back together and this showed up, this one's broken we're gonna install that as well new hood cover old broken hood cover they seem to be a little different color this one is more black and a little more shiny might be kind of hard to tell but I think they may have changed manufacturing over the years and of course this one's like 20 something years old probably so it might fade and match and this piece is a little more gray than that but the one that came with the kit matches the hood a little bit better something oddly satisfying about changing a shift knob my younger years it was usually going to something aftermarket and gaudy but now I'm getting satisfied by changing back to OEM it's leather it feels nice it's got a good weight to it there is people I've seen changing the stitching to that cherry blossom red and replicating these um, there is a company in the UK that does it I think it they charge I think it's like $300 for the shift knob I think this from Subaru was like 50 or 60 so it is gonna do for now feels nice the new center armrest does not come with the hinge as I suspected so this one, like I said, it is hammered. I'm glad that I have the hinge in good shape. It does come with a little clip on top, which is broken on this one. I still think you can get this. I think it's like maybe five or six bucks separate. But either way, it comes with it. And the color is pretty close. I mean, I don't care. I mean, look at the difference in condition this one is trashed and this one is going to make the entire rest of my center console look like a disaster but it sure is pretty beautiful look at that little, little things it really is i do have a full fake carbon fiber trim kit for this car 
it goes around the radio and climate. That's what this piece is. There's another piece that goes down here around the shifter and up here as well. But those came on the 2001 cars. This is not a 2001. So I'm just going to keep this in storage for now. Later on, I want to spruce it up a little bit. We can change it. The Corbo seats that came in this car, they are nice. They fit well. They have big bolsters. They recline. It came with a harness bar and it also came with harnesses. These would be perfect in a track car or something with a lot more power. But they are not for this car. It actually looks a little silly being pretty much stock on the outside and then you roll up and you got big aftermarket racing seats with wings in them. So I picked up a set of seats, stock Impreza 2.5 RS seats from a friend locally for a great deal. They're in great shape. So these race seats have to go. They're going to be pulled. Got to put the stock ones in the car to get the interior back to stock OEM shape. This is the towel after five minutes working on one headrest. That is a lot of greasy, oily, dirty heads on this seat over the years. I am going to have my work cut out for me on these. <laughs> Front seats are out, harness bar is now coming out, and the rear seats aren't even bolted in, so we're gonna have to figure out the hardware for that and the seat belts because there's no seat belts in here. Probably gonna have to check the black RS to see what washer and what bolt goes where, but we're getting there. best part of this whole experience is going to be sorting out all these nuts and bolts and seat belts. Good news is everything seems to be coming out fairly easily. I just got to figure out what nut and bolt goes to each seat belt. It's actually pretty clean in here. I'm pretty impressed. Looks like all the sound insulation has been removed. A little bummed, but Whatever, no harm, no foul. That is just under the carpet. Everything looks good. Quarter panels look great. I don't see any rust coming in anywhere. It seems very stout. Just a little bit of dirt here and there. And from what I'm looking at briefly, no crusty rust. After fighting with the seat belt and the B pillar, C pillar trim, I busted my lip open by slamming this into my face. Sad story because I also cracked it. One of the little pins on the back would not release. 
tried everything I could, and I got a little crack here. It's not terrible, but you do see a little white line figures. This sad little speaker parcel shelf has definitely seen better days, and of course they don't sell it at Subaru anymore. It's broken here, missing a piece here, broken here, mm -hmm -hmm. and I think, oh yeah, broken here, and here, and here, here. I don't know what the best course of action is to fix this. I don't know if wood glue will hold. I'll probably have to do some supports. Maybe skin it with some fiberglass. I don't know. The fabric is in okay shape, but it is peeling from the wood. So maybe I'll just glue it back together and just set it in place. window and door lock switch is broken. Looks like somebody was probably in here and just ripped it out and broke it. So I bought one online, used, plug it in to see if it works. Something just showed up in the mail that I have been waiting for, I don't know, about a week or so, and it is the Last Coat Sarah Trim. No affiliation with this stuff, online, watching videos, everybody says, and it looks like it's amazing stuff. Comes with applicator pad, the gel, what else? Um, another cap. So this stuff is gonna be what helps restore some of that interior trim to black. Um, we're gonna give it a shot, look side by side, but it lasts a long time from all the tests I've seen online. Um, and it actually does a really good job making things black again that are faded and old. So let's give it a shot. I'm gonna start with this piece because it is destroyed. We're gonna do a little 50-50 shot right here and see how it goes. Just a couple little drops on there. I already cleaned it and degreased it. That's like the most important step. And dried it. So we're just gonna apply a little bit here. Wipe off the residue and let it dry. After about an hour drying, buffing off the excess with the microfiber towel, I am pretty happy with the results. What do you guys think? Um, this is pretty dark. And this is pretty gray still. So other than buying this new, which you can't do anymore, this is about the only option. So I'm gonna pull out the whole entire center console one more time, and we're gonna coat everything. There's only two things left to do on the Impreza interior before we call it a wrap. One is install these 2.5 RS OEM Subaru Genuine floor mats. These came in the black car. They were brand new when I bought the black car. They're hard to find. Yes, I have a thing for OEM Subaru parts, especially rare ones that are hard to find. Some nostalgia there. So these have been cleaned up. They're ready to go in. And the second thing is to clean and detail the steering wheel. 
I'm not gonna bore you guys with the detail, it's a lot of work, pretty tedious, but this steering wheel is in such good shape. There's no rips, no tears. It's kind of shiny, just from the leather getting worn out over the years, but you can see the red stitching is still there. It's kind of grimy, kind of hard to see, but I think after really good scrubbing and cleaning, it will come out perfectly.